I'm Anastasia Chatska, a fashion designer with over 20 years of experience and a sewing educator. And I'm really excited you're here to share another sewing adventure with me today. Welcome to Sew Anastasia, and today I'm going to go over how to sew horsehair or crinoline into the hem of your skirt or dress. The horsehair is going to give your hem a nice stiff bottom, so it's going to create these beautiful billows at the hem of your skirt or dress. So I have this pair of skirted shorts, and I'm going to be attaching the horsehair hem to the bottom of this today. And this skirt is a full circle, so after we put the horsehair in it, it's going to bellow beautifully. If you're not already a subscriber to Sew Anastasia, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out. I'm also now teaching virtual sewing lessons and sewing lessons in person in my design studio in Chicago. Check out information on that at SewAnastasia.com or click the link down below. You're going to need a few supplies to do this. You're going to need some horsehair, which you can also order off my website. You're going to need your scissors. You're going to need just a little bit of bias binding, maybe like four inches, so grab something from your scrap bin. And you're going to need some matching thread. So grab all your supplies and let's sew some horsehair in the bottom of the hem. Adding the horsehair is gonna take this skirt and it's gonna amp it up. It's gonna give it a little more volume at the hem. It's also gonna give it some weight, so when you walk, the movement of it is going to be spectacular. So let's add some horsehair, try it on, and go for a walk. The first thing we need to do is finish the edge of the horsehair because the raw cut edge of this is really prickly. And when this rubs against your leg, it's not going to feel great. So we're just going to cover it with a little bit of bias binding. So unfold your bias binding, line up the raw edge with the horsehair, and we are going to sew in that first groove of the bias binding. Don't forget to backstitch. And when you get to the end, right on the other side of the horsehair, backstitch again and cut. Leave about a half inch beyond your horsehair and cut your bias binding. So we have the bias binding sewn on the edge of the horsehair, which is great, but now we have to bind this edge. So the way we're going to do this is by taking the fold of the bias binding on the other side, and we're gonna line it up with that seam we just made. So we're folding it back on itself, right sides together. Now what we're gonna do is stitch right next to the horsehair, and we're gonna create these little stitches on the side. So that way we can flip it back right side out and it'll be covered. And then we just need to top stitch it down. Now flip it around and we're gonna do the other side. So we're just stitching up that little spot right there. So remember to do it right next to the horse hair, not on top of it. So yours should look something like this. We've sewn up the sides of the bias binding together right on the outside of the horsehair. Now what you can do is cut off most of that. You can leave about an eighth of an inch. And now we're gonna flip it. So take it and push those seams to the inside and flip it right side out. Okay. And now what we're going to do is just stitch down the other side of the bias tape. And cut. So the end of your horsehair should look something like this. Now that we have the end of the horsehair finished, we are going to sew it to the hem of our skirt. So we are going to be placing it on the outside of the garment first because we're gonna end up turning it to the inside a stitch later. So I'm on the outside of my garment and I've placed the horsehair right on the edge of my garment. And now what I'm going to do is stitch a quarter of an inch and I'm gonna go all the way around the hem of the garment. And make sure you line up your binding edge with a seam on the garment, so that way it's not an eyesore. If you want, you can pin the horsehair all the way around your hem, but I really like to just line it up as I go while I'm sewing. I find that it's a bit easier for me. So let's go over to the sewing machine and sew this up. 
Okay, so I have everything lined up and I'm gonna do a quarter inch seam and don't forget to back stitch. I like to stop at least four inches before I get to the end and back stitch. And then what we're going to do is cut the horse hair up here and we're gonna bias bind the end. So I've stopped four inches before my overlap. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the remainder and give yourself about a half inch to an inch overlap of the other one. And now what we wanna do is go ahead and bias bind this edge the exact same way we did the other one. Okay, so now what we wanna do is overlap the ends and continue sewing up the remainder of that four inches. Okay, when you start again, don't forget to back stitch. Make sure you're overlapping your bias binding pieces. Make sure you back stitch and cut. So you can see how the horse hair is going to end up giving it this voluminous bottom. It's so beautiful the way it just hangs and waves. I love it. But we are not done yet. We still have a few more steps. So next we're going to be putting on an edge stitch. So now that we have our quarter inch seam all the way around the hem, we're gonna take the horse hair and flip it out. And now you can see that hem because I have a sheer fabric, but what you're gonna do is hold it nice and taut or give it a good iron, and we're gonna do an edge stitch. We're stitching the seam allowance onto the horse hair, and we're gonna go all the way around the garment. And this is gonna give us a nice crisp edge, so that way when we do end up turning it under, this isn't in a bubble here. It's going to end up nice and crisp. So let's get ready to edge stitch. Don't forget to back stitch as well. When you get to the end, back stitch and cut. Now we have the edge stitch all the way around our hem. It's time to turn it under and stitch it down. Our last step is taking our horse hair, turning it to the inside of the garment, and then giving it a stitch right on the edge of the horse hair. If you were using a fabric that was not sheer, you could also do a blind hem with this stitch, so that way you don't see a stitch on the outside of your garment. So you have two choices here for stitches. You could do a straight stitch that you're going to see on the outside of the garment, or you could do a blind hem that you wouldn't see on the outside of your garment, as long as you're using a solid fabric. If you don't know how to do a blind hem, make sure you check out my video on how to do a blind hem. So let's go over to the sewing machine and finish this skirt up. Okay, and now right where we have that bias binding, we are just gonna overlap those and stitch those down, and that'll keep the edge nice and soft. When you get to the end, make sure you overlap your stitches and backstitch and cut. The hem is so pretty. I just love the way the horse hair gives it these billows in the fabric. It is ready for a walk. For watching Sew so Anastasia today. If you have any questions or comments on how to attach horse hair to your hem, leave it down below and I will get back with you as soon as I can. If you're not already a subscriber to Sew so Anastasia, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out. Also, give this video a thumbs up and leave that comment down below. I would love to know what you thought of the video. Make sure you follow me on social media, on Instagram and Facebook and Pinterest and Twitter and TikTok and all those fabulous social media websites. So that way we can stay connected and inspiring each other. Speaking of which, I would love to see your projects that you're working on. Send them to me or tag me in them so that way I can share them with everyone else and keep everyone inspired and creative. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.